Steve Hackett reacts to, well, some people who think he shouldn't be doing these revisited things, these concerts of old Genesis albums. The thing is, he kind of played on those albums, and he kind of has a right to play them. But I asked him about the haters. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Now, remember, on this channel, as you know, we clip interviews into different pieces. But guess what? We have another channel where we feature the entire interview. So if you want to see the entire thing, this eighth interview with Steve Hackett, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can uh, you can check it out. I find it interesting. It's, some, it's usually proggy fans that yeah. they'll say they'll say things like, well, well, he's dredging that up again. And I'm going, you know, he releases new music as well. Right. I'm always going, you, are you not paying attention? Like, because yeah. people like, what do you say to, to people who say, well, uh, you're, you're dredging up Genesis. I mean, I, I don't see any complaints from the real fans. No, uh, I, I think that um, uh, if I attempted to please everybody, it would by, be by doing precisely that, by addressing new fans with new music. As I say, I can't do better than doing two albums in one year um, and to have them both chart internationally, which I'm hugely proud of, and um, and also to bring you know the classic either Genesis material or or my own to people favorites. Um, so we we do all of that. Um, we we recorded a show in Manchester, um, and we've just mixed that in stereo. We're uh, downstairs. Roger King is mixing. Started mixing today. This very day. The surround sound mix of the, that of that gig, which I have to say, even though it's material that, that you know some of which dates back, you know, fifty years, um, it still sounds fresh. It's it's not a case of dredging it up. I think it's a case of honouring it. You know, I honoured the muse then. You know, I I honour it now, and um, I know that it's very easy for bands and artists to be very dismissive of their early work. But there comes a time when everyone has to admit, actually, we're not the true owners of that. The true owners are the audience. And if the audience says, um, yeah, I really would like you to do that. Um, who am I to say that, yeah, well, you know, there's all sorts of reasons for, for um, extolling the virtues of new stuff to say, well, yeah, you know, I can play better than that now, faster. <laughs> um, my, fing my finger vibrato is better. Uh, you know, all, all of that stuff. I now know, know how to write a proper song. I know the difference between a verse and a chorus. Um, but the fan, the long-term fan doesn't think like that. You know, yeah. they, they are, yeah. as I've said before, the true owners are really those people. And um, uh, after a certain point, you don't get to vote. You, it's it's a case of if there's something classic, it's it's timeless, and so um, I know what I'm like. And if I go and see somebody uh, that I started listening to when I was 14 or 15, I want to hear what what they did then. I want I want to hear that. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. I mean, I saw a thing that was it was Dylan. It was a celebration of Dylan stuff, and star after star got up there and was doing stuff you know it was uh tom petty and there was jim mcguinn and they're all playing in the same band and there's dylan up there you know and i thought this is great you know these guys are celebrating the work of what we've come to realize was was genius you know you 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 thought that there was going to be a dylan on every street corner wrong no, 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 no. Just for the peace message alone. The world needs this right now. There's, you know, we're about to get into this, this thing. I don't know what's going on with Europe at the moment, but it looks <clears throat> looks pretty bloody serious. And um, what do you mean? So this thing? Is, what do you mean this thing? When I say this thing, I mean, the you, you see, this is it. Ukraine, oh. the build up of forces on the border. Right. Um, States is sending troops. Um, you know, we, we don't know, you know, uh, uh, Europe is looking very, uh, very iffy right now. But uh, when I look back at Dylan stuff, you know, I'm thinking, well, you know, yeah, blowing in the wind. 
the simplicity of that, how wonderful. Um, the chimes of freedom. Um, and so um, I'm finding it that, it that it affects my writing style now. And um, uh, so the old protest song will, will creep in at the expense of saying, hey, Steve, you know, we don't want you to educate us, just um, entertain us. Uh, yeah. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do both. We'll have more from Steve Hackett in the next two, three days. Keep in mind, if you want to see the entire interview, it's on her sister channel, Rock History Book. There'll be links in the description of this video. Also links to the top Genesis albums, a feature we did a few years ago, and the top 25 Genesis songs, another feature we did maybe four or five years ago. We put a lot of production into it, so check it out. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.